you get a car, you get a car, you all get a car, you all get a car. That's what Oprah did. So it's like one of those things, it comes back to play here because it's it's funny that she said it like that because it was kind of weird, like she was trying to make sure everybody heard, but it was funny because it's not like she was crazy. So, um, and we always think, y'all, you guys always think that I'm crazy because I like math or something's wrong with me because I like math and I'm weird. I'm always weird, so everybody gets a call. So with that, we're going to talk about our rules of logs, expanding condensing, but that whole thing of everybody gets a car, we're going to do the whole thing of everybody gets a log. Everybody gets a log. You get a log. You get a log. You get a log. You get a log. Everybody gets a log. So we're going to do that. So when it comes to our rules of um, our rules that we're going to talk about here, these are going to work for expanding and condensing. So they're going to work backwards and forwards no matter what. So here, the other thing I want to make sure, because we did the video already about putting things back into the calculator and make sure we can find the log of in the calculator. Make sure if you can simplify it down, you can simplify, if you can simplify a log down, make sure you simplify the log down. If you can, you need to make sure you do it. Right. So let's start with our first rule. So our first rule is the product rule. And if you look at it, it's log m times n base b. So it's not the product rule. We you know product deals with multiplication. So a product of two numbers or two things, it means multiplication. So whenever we have n, m times n, we're going to break it apart. And the m gets a log, and the n gets a log. And all we do is put an addition sign in the middle. So like again, you get a log, you get a log, you all get a log. So m gets a log, n gets a log, and we put addition in the middle. That's all. So m, so m gets a log, n gets a log, and we put addition in the middle. Now, the thing I need to make sure you understand and remember before we get to example one. original function, so over here, that base number was B, that means B needs to go for each one of these parts here. So B was back here, both of these two right here need to be have a base B. So it needs to be the exact same. So each log must have the same base number. Was that the same base? Okay. Yeah, same base, there you go. All right, so let's go to example one. And we're going to deal with the product rule. Just the product rule, that's it. So here, and I kind of already gave that to you, you can kind of see that log 100 and x, you won't, normally, normally you won't see that multiplication symbol there. Normally it'll just be log x, I'm well, sorry, log 100x. And what you need to understand and remember is, there's a multiplication symbol right there in the middle. That's 100 times x. So, do this again. We're going to go back to Oprah. The 100 gets a log. The x gets a log. And we put addition in the middle. So let's do that. The 100 gets a log. So log 100. The log, um, x gets a log. So we do log x. And we put addition in the middle. You get a log. You get a log. Everybody gets a log. And so the only part that we do now is with log 100, there's no variable there at all. And again, you got to remember this, log 100 means there is not a base given to us. And we said if a base is not given to us, it is understood to be a number. And in this case, it is understood to be base 10. And our calculator understands base 10. So again, with this one, all we have to do is just put it in the calculator to do in the calculator, you're going to just hit log 100 and enter. Because the calculator already understands what's going on. And we do log 100 and enter into the calculator. 
Everybody should get two. So this whole thing right there equals two, and then plus log x. And that's it. That's all there is. That's all there is. So don't think hard on that. That's it. Okay, so let's go to the next B. And this one is, and this one is log 27 point, uh, times 6, 27 times, uh, sorry, 25 times 6, log 25 times 6, base 7. Again, we're going to separate these. 25 gets a log, 6 gets a log, and they put a addition sign in the middle. We're talking about multiplication, the product rule. So again, 25 gets a log, 6 gets a log, put addition sign in the middle. And then what base number do we use for this? Okay. As you can see, 7 down here. So that means 7 needs to be the base number for both of these here. And for both of them, we need to, since they're both numbers, so it's for the first one, log 25, base 7, 25 and 7 are both numbers, so we need to put that in the calculator to find a decimal number. And then for the second one, log 6, base 7, again, log and 25 are on the same line, log and 6 are on the same line, 7 is on bottom below it, like it's a base number. So we need to make sure we can put that into the calculator and get an answer for both of them, and then add them up. So here, we have log 25 over log 7. And then over here we have log 6 over log 7. Put those in the calculator, we get decimal answers. So here we get about 1.654. And for the other one, we get uh, 0.921. Oh, okay. So you can see those. So 1.654 and 0.921. And we do it just add them together and we get a final answer. So we add those two decimal numbers together, we get 2.575. And that is your final answer for that problem. And again, not hard. We can do this. We got this. Just got to remember your rule and then go from there. All right, and then we have our last one. I'm going to pull this down. I need, to, I need to bring it down some. Hold on. Right, so, the last thing is, now we have the natural logs. Because we talked about that before, we know that's log base E. But it works the same way again. It's 100, uh, sorry, it's 10x, the so natural log 10x. It's 10 times x. So we break that apart here. The natural log of 10 plus natural log of x. And then we put natural log of 10 in the calculator, we get a decimal answer, and then natural log of x stays the same. That's it. That's all you have to do when it comes to the product rule. That's it. You don't have to worry about anything else. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to stop. I'm going to go to the next video. And the next video is going to be the quotient rule.